Hi, I'm Terry Starbucker, Starbucker on Twitter. And today I'm going to set, talk about how to tell the difference between a boss and a leader. Who wants to be a leader here? Who's going to be a leader? Who's trying to be a leader? OK, here we go. Meet Boss Man. You all know Boss Man, right? He's the guy that says, you are empowered to agree with all of my decisions. Now that's Boss Man. And he, what Boss Man does, he goes in Boss Man mode, right? He stops being a leader. He supervises a staff. He has staff that reports to him. And everybody does what the boss says because he's the boss. Now I'm going to tell you today, in my own words, how you can tell the difference between a boss and a leader. So, so your team don't fall into what I call the bottomless pit of failure because you need leaders. So here we go. Boss only sees things in black and white, right? It's right or it's wrong. But a leader also sees the gray, like maybe we should take a look at this rule and maybe we should look at this policy and change it. Now that's, that can be tough, but it has to be done. A boss likes to tell, here's how you do this. A leader prefers to teach. I want to show you how to do this. And that's really important. A leader must teach. A boss sometimes likes being on a pedestal, waving above the fray. Everybody's below them. But a leader gets into the weeds. He rolls up their sleeves. He eats, drinks a coffee, and eats the donuts, as it were. A boss gets lost in the morass of all the details, of all the different things. But a leader keeps the big pictures, so you never sweat the small stuff. And, and the small stuff isn't worth sweating sometimes, really. A leader rules by fear. Do this or else. Or inspires with trust. You can do this. You know, you really all can be a leader. Trust me. A boss is hubris. The least important word in my word is I. I do this. I do that. Bosses do that all the time. The leader shows humility. They use the most important word. You know what the most important word is? We. A boss likes to talk. Yak, 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 yakety, yakety, yak, like Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. A leader says, listen. Are you listening? Boss wants to dictate policy, this, that, others. Leaders like to collaborate. They like to ask the question, what do you think? And that leads to more innovation. That's what leaders do. A boss outlines the what. Here's the policy. Please do it. You know what a leader does? Let me tell you why this policy is necessary and why you must do it. A boss thinks always about the bottom line, right? Cut this, do this. It's all about profit. But a leader thinks about the people who actually get the profit. Because without them, it's not going to happen. A boss gets lost in process. All these little steps, and you start micromanaging. But a boss gets, a leader that rather, gets absorbed in performance. How can I make this team do great things? A boss disables. They stifle innovation. Nobody wants to take chances. But a leader gets their people, they enable them. They get them to dream, to dream. You know, you can do that in an office. A boss criticizes. You stink. Right? Leader coaches, here's how you can do this better. Let me help you. A boss is an enabler. A boss manages to an end, get from point A to point B. A leader serves for a purpose. Leaders lead people for a cause greater than themselves. A cause greater than themselves. That's what leaders do. And then finally, a boss demotivates with impassiveness. Whatever. Whatever. A leader inspires with caring and empathy. Follow me. We're going to do great things together. I've got your back. And there is the differences. And so be a leader and lead well. And thank you very much. It was a pleasure.